guys hello Shewa. how is everybody yeah i just got back as usual life is good and thank god thank you guys thank you thank you guys i cannot love you less thank you so much everybody thank you yes i want to say hello to somebody auntie kemi bukola she's a motivational speaker and a blogger auntie kemi bukola i i i, I feel honored i felt so honored when you mentioned my name thank you god will continue to help us guys it's yours please i mean i'm yours it's yours yes yours dear damsel and the you please subscribe and share viewers i love you yes i have something i want us to talk about okay it's a reaction over um or or speech making in unilag an important personality make a speech in unilag let's listen on before i do anything i want to ask of a, a, a question are you listening? Are you with me? What do you think can put a human fellow down? What do you think can make human being feel inferior? Is there anything that you think you and I think can make somebody feel inferior? If you ask me, I think in my own idea, I think it's when somebody is not learning. Meanwhile, mind you, don't let any situation underrate you. Don't let any situation pull you down, guys. Don't let any situation make you feel inferior. But most cases, what I think most times that can knock somebody out, that can easily knock you off your feet, that can make you go weak, that can make you feel important, is when you are not learning. Because publicly, most situations, there are some conversations that people are putting their own idea. You wouldn't want to, you wouldn't be able to communicate because you wouldn't be able to communicate. Just because you are not learning. But to be sincere, come what may, believe in yourself and stand your ground. Okay? There's a song that says, Malowo, Obimyo, Lowo, Lomo, De Manilagba. And another thing, before I go to Malowo, please, what people feel about you, people's impression, yes, we are impressionable. People's belief or impression about you doesn't matter. What matters is that try to be upright. Even let the Holy Spirit testify that you are upright. Try to do what is right in life. And always be there for yourself. Because we have different ways of understanding human. You have to understand human nature. Yes, at times, 36, 33, I mean, 33 percentage wise or 25 percentage wise, we need to care how they, we have to be careful. But in, not in most cases about your life. People might have impression about you, they might look down on you, it does not matter. Okay? Because I'm, why I'm saying this is that I listen to the to the speech that um, the legend, the great actress Tony Abraham made in Unilag. Not only as a blogger that I have right to watch it, but it's for everybody there. You Unilag invite her to come and advise, to come and you know intellectually to educate students over there. I don't know what was going on, but I clicked it. So when I see that I'm not hearing anything, formating anything that spins like things that I want to hear, I didn't finish watching it. But I want to tell us, life is full of ups and downs. Okay? But before I go further, I want to make um, this guy, what is, well, I've forgotten his name. He, he got married to Simi. He's a great musician. When they interviewed him, he said, I learned from his speech. He said, he and Simi, during their courtship, they were trying to set up a standard. That they don't want their relationship to be like anybody else's relationship. All over the social media, you always see them kissing, if but all over their self. But at the end of the day, it didn't went further like that. Well, I'm the one that had myself, that I know what it meant, that at the end of the day, their girlfriend ended up being a baby mama. Look at them. They set up a standard. I didn't say you shouldn't put your uh, relationship or be spot with your man or your woman on social media. But let it be reasonable. But there are some 
there are some lovers that you popular lovers or unpopular that you see them on social media it's unreasonable you will know that is a stunt you will know that is a scammer they are just trying to make people it's not that all these things are not necessary okay is a normal thing we must understand human nature and there was a time i have a girl with my flatmate i wouldn't call her my friend but the world was calling her my friend as well do you know that just because i say leave my flat if you see how this lady go about shading me negatively things i did not do she tell friends around me that i used to bad bite she she went to the love of my life this guy that i was so crazy but today i'm thanking her for splitting that relationship not knowing that that guy doesn't deserve me okay guys so stop being afraid of people just because you have quarrel with somebody whatever she say and let me tell you one thing about how news or speculations escalate it will also pass through reliable source reliable source will never buy the idea of somebody shading another person it does not matter the person shading somebody negatively might be saying the truth but reliable source like me i'm one of the reliable source i will because i will believe when you say bad thing about your neighbor or your friend just because you are happy i will believe you can say that about me too when you have problem with me there is people out there i'm not here because of tony abraham but i want to learn light off that because i've seen in her speech that she has not moved on my girl dear legend actress you have to move on and understand human nature even though you have not done anything wrong with anybody people will still come out and shade you so i always think of it that whenever things negatively are going on in your life there are people we call reliable source all these people that spoil people they will never go to reliable source and begin to spoil you so when i was in your shoe then too i tried to help somebody when i see that i can no longer tolerate them in my flat i said leave my flat she waits and start do you understand and she's the one that has been saying bad things to to me about people all the things i don't do you can imagine what she could have told my boyfriend the man and she know and i wouldn't blame and this guy has fucked up before i want to advise other girls too if you see your man if if you know your man's ex it's better i don't think do you understand it's better you don't date that kind of man that they are still you understand so it was easy for her to go to my man and i don't know that they have fucked themselves before if i know i wouldn't have said yes for this guy but let's cut that people shading you negatively they are shading with pass through reliable source reliable source will debunk it reliable source will demote it will demote it reliable source will not allow it only fools only fools will not take a second thought when somebody come out and start saying oh talistic it oh nimoto oh nile oh riche it might be true but please let me put one question to us see i doubt by riche like when a person is not well to do financially does not does that make you to feel inferior or does that mean you have never done anything well in your life don't you know that even wealth the bible say wealth has a spirit it's locate anybody those people that you see that are suffering today but a lot of people believe that so far you are celebrity you must be you must be well to do financially it's not like that we know how these things go i have been to a model edition in lagos the guy that i was linked to he was the guy that did uh uh this jimmy something's causing this guy is very handsome i was introduced to him as a he's a model he's the one that did the billboard of fancy many years back if you see fancy billboard it was this guy they used this guy told me point blank that if i cannot open my laps i will be on bench in this model is complete for for years so i didn't mean i joined them then for modeling it was what he told me and then i just gave my life to christ i couldn't take it i left i told him thank you i didn't bother to come for different photo shooting he said no matter how good i am nobody will take me he has let me know that he will be having he will be harassing me sexually with some other he let me know that if i want to be getting contrast so i left i couldn't do that so imagine some people that didn't go that joined the model company but did not open their labs and you know them as a model good model but yes the the, the, the money is not flowing so you now start to demote them 
you not start to disrespect them. That you know, we know you are a model, but you are wretched. No, I'm just. I'm not saying that they are sleeping with some actress. Please don't get me wrong. But I'm just using something as an instance. We have a lot of us who are very hard working in life. But if we don't have a car outside or we don't have a house of our own, does not mean. Don't let anything, please. Because I saw in the speech she was making, she was like, I was, eh, hey, as you see me, I have too much money. I just don't like to show. Ah, my good God. My good God. Despite that, you just bought 20 million uh, car and spent the world, no. You are still not convinced. I want to call actress, eh, what she said about you. Oh, by God. It's a normal thing. Even if people believe her, ah, that does not mean you are like that. That does not mean you are wretched. And even if you are wretched, my dear, even if you are wretched, ha, huh, that does not mean I'm not wretched. Oh, she, but thank God you are not wretched. But I'm telling people, nothing should make you look down on yourself. Do you understand? Even in. A lot of things were going on this day that I don't understand. A one idiot blogger also came out too and say it was a co actress that gave her information, wrong information to be shading her, that is sorry, is this and that. Why is it? I don't understand what is going on. Why people, can't people? Do you understand? That a lot of us, we don't have God. We cannot face crowd. Why? How can my peer? My age group, my peer group, sue me to court, and I will get to court, and I will be shaking. Shaking for what? I will not be able to defend myself. Nothing should bring you down. Nothing should make you feel inferior. Please, I'm, I'm talking to everybody generally. I'm advising us. Because a lot of us are getting it wrong in life. How can my peer group in, sue me to court as a blogger? You know, we bloggers, a lot of people get us wrong. Some see us as haters. Some see us as... Um, people who, def who, who uh, people who are going about deformation of character, I know that. I will not get to court. I won't be able to look at the, the judge in the eyes and say, my lord, I'm a blogger and I'm doing my job. You know, okay, what about the person solicitor? Because I hear that the person that went to court was so defenseless. She didn't even have the right speech. You're, you're not you're supposed to prepare you. Ah! Look, don't you have a solicitor? A lot of unnecessary things put people down. People, the Bible says people fear when there is no fear. It does not matter what anybody come out and say about you. People know you are quarreling. Move on. The only thing I will tell you is that change your friend. If possible, don't have friends. Thank God you have a wonderful husband. Your husband is enough to be your friend. Let's move on. That is not what you're supposed to be educating. That that should be by the way. That should be passed. That should be passed. And don't don't join. Don't let the crowd pull you. Don't let crowd or people determine your life because of what they say. Just for recent, you went and bought twenty million car. Emiano, congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, I won't emphasize more on that because you are an adult. But please, everybody, the crowd does not determine our life. Let them go about shading. Let them go about doing anything. It does not matter what they, what they are saying, whether it's, they are saying the right thing or not. Don't let that thing govern your life. Don't let it control you. Don't let it control you. I, I've come to react to our speech. Move on. That is human nature. We must understand human nature. We must understand. Thank you, guys. That's what I've got to say. Handy do you subscribe. We love you. Thank you. Continue to empower my channel. Share on. I love you, guys. I love you.